high density and low density polyethene by kscience.com. Ethene monomers are able to form polyethene in the chemical reaction addition polymerization. These free ethene monomers represent the thousands of ethene monomers which can react together to form the long chain polyethene. If we change the conditions when making the polyethene so that we change the catalyst used, the pressure, the temperature and how much oxygen there is, this means we can change the type of polyethene formed. So we can form either a high density polyethene, HD polyethene, or low density polyethene, LD polyethene. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. We're now going to compare the similarities and differences between low density polyethene or LDPE and high density polyethene or HDPE. Now both types of polyethenes are made from ethene monomers C2H4 showing the carbon-carbon double bond. However, it's the conditions in which the monomers react together which are different that makes the polyethenes different. So the conditions when making LDPE are that very high pressures are used and there's trace oxygen as well. And the conditions when making HDPE is there is a higher pressure and a catalyst at 50 degrees Celsius is used. In low density polyethene, the zigzaggy lines represent the polymer chains and these polymer chains are randomly branched and are not packed closely together. So the polymer chains in a low density polyethene are randomly branched and not closely packed together, causing this polyethene to have a low density, which is why we call it a low density polyethene. Not only this, low density polyethenes have a lower softening temperature and are less strong compared to high density polyethenes. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Now, this diagram of the high density polyethene shows how the polymer chains are straighter and they're packed closely together. So we can see the polymer chains are straighter and closely packed together, which results in a higher density, which is why high density polyethenes have their name because of their higher density. And not only this, they have a higher softening temperature and are stronger compared to low density polyethenes. It's question time. Attempt these questions to check your understanding. Pause the video here to practice the keywords. The answers will follow. Press pause to answer the questions. The answers will follow. If stuck, just rewatch the video. Press pause to go through your answers and make any corrections to your mistakes. And don't forget to visit kscience.com. For more videos, worksheets and quizzes at kscience.com and don't forget to like and subscribe.